Hello everyone, and as always, welcome to the YouTube video. So perhaps you're a player or perhaps a game master, and you want to up your game when it comes to creating super cool looking character tokens for your players or NPCs on your VTT of choice when you're playing online. If that's the case, then this is the perfect video for you because I will be covering some of the easiest methods and tools you can use to do just that and create super cool looking tokens for your characters, players, or NPCs. So we will be starting off with some very simple, easy to use, and free methods for creating your character tokens, and then slowly progressing to some methods that perhaps are a little bit more intricate and require some cash. But regardless though, if you enjoy this video, or perhaps maybe if you know someone who could benefit from watching this video, feel free to share it with them so we can all improve our skills with creating tokens. But regardless, let's dive right into things. But the first and easiest method of creating or perhaps more so choosing your character token is going through your VTT's free asset library. So a lot of people may not know this, or perhaps if you do know this, maybe you just kind of gloss over it because you want your own custom token or whatever. But most VTTs nowadays offer tons of free character or hero token packs that you can use to select your own character token. As you can see, there are dozens of options for you to choose from using these VTTs as examples. Everything from spell throwing elf wizards to knights in full plate armor to great club wielding thugs. And the cool part of these pre-made tokens is that if you're a player or perhaps a GM who struggles to come up with a good character idea, you can use these free pre-made assets as inspiration for your characters. So boom, quick, easy, done. Now you have your character token. You don't have to worry about anything because it was already baked into your VTT, which is pretty cool. And a lot of people just kind of gloss over this for some reason, but in my humble opinion, it is a gold mine of potential for both the GM and players. And I think you should at least give it a try before you move on to these other steps that I'm about to mention. And speaking of other methods for creating tokens, perhaps maybe you've commissioned an artist to create a super intricate and beautiful piece of art for your character, or maybe if you are an artist, you've spent tons of hours creating this beautiful piece of art and you want to show it off to the other players by making it your token art. Or perhaps maybe you used Hero Forge to create some artwork for your character or an AI art generator. Really, there are tons of methods to create art for your character nowadays, and maybe you want that to be your token. Which, if that's the case, then I would definitely recommend using some of these tools that I'm about to go over. There are a couple of fantastic token creation websites out there, such as Token Stamp, The Fateful Force, and Tactical Tokens that give you a great selection of pre-made borders, color choices, and masking possibilities. Whenever I'm introducing new players to a TTRPG, I always refer them to these three websites because they give you a fantastic amount of diversity when it comes to the amount of effort you want to put into creating your token. And it can be completely done simply by just dragging or uploading some art for your character token and then obviously creating the borders for them. While websites like Tactical Tokens are pretty bare bone and very simple, others like the Faithful Force and Token Stamp allow you to customize a lot about your token and even allow you to upload your own border if you happen to have one. Just make sure that they're the right size though. But as you can see, I can easily make a custom border for a character in minutes using these free online tools. And if you want things to get more complicated, then you can use the Faithful Force to add overlay effects and get access to some of their slightly more intricately designed token borders as opposed to token stamp and tactical tokens. And if you're a player and you're at this point and you're like, well, I really want to create a token like this, but I don't have any artwork that I can use. Well, then you can easily, if it's a private game, look up some artwork and then use that artwork for your token and for your character. Or perhaps you could commission an artist, use Hero Forge, or use an AI art generator, like I mentioned previously. And maybe if you've reached this point in the video and you're looking through some of these websites and you think to yourself, okay, well, yeah, some of them have some cool options, but some of them are pretty lackluster or boring or plain. I want something that's unique, cool, exciting, and makes the other players or my GM go, whoa, that's a pretty cool token border. Where'd you get that? And if that's the case, then this next section is for you. And if what I said previously applies to you, then what I would recommend is searching for some pre-made token border packs on Etsy or Drive-Thru RPG or finding an artist that you can commission for a custom token border. Then, once you have your fancy new token border, you can use a free online photo editing software like Pixel R or Photopea to add your token border to your artwork. Or the other way around, I should say. <laughs> 
But by this point, maybe you realize that you don't want to have a artwork stamp token, but instead want something more top down. But your free options that you have on your VTT don't quite fit what you want. Well, fear not, because there are tons of free options for tokens online that you can find and download for free. Many artists and token creators have free sample sets of tokens that you can sift through to find a token that fits your character, or you can find tons of free token packs just by searching for them. But I would heavily recommend checking out Forgotten Adventures because they have some absolutely amazing character token packs that you can download completely for free. While the free versions of the token packs don't include all of the token variants, you can still get access to a lot of them. And chances are you'll find one that you really like and one that fits your character. But whether you decide to snag one or a couple of different free token packs, I would still recommend buying at least one of them or at least supporting them in one way or another, because they provide so many free assets besides tokens. And this next method is one I want to share with you all that a lot of players shy away from or perhaps don't know about, and that's using Hero Forge. So perhaps you've heard of Hero Forge. They're a fantastic online service that allows you to create absolutely amazing, completely customizable miniatures for your games and order them. But while many people know that you can use Hero Forge to create very cool customizable minis and perhaps screenshot them to use for your artwork for your character, not very many people know that it can also be used to create VTT tokens as well. So once you're done making your mini and you want to create a token, you can then go to the booth tab and use it to create your awesome high resolution character token. But there is a caveat, you do have to pay for this feature. And for some people, paying a yearly subscription for potentially only one or two tokens that you may create can be a bit much. So in that case, I have heard that you could always just screenshot your creation from a particular angle and then use some Photoshop magic to make your token. And speaking of Photoshop magic, with this next method I'm about to show you, it is a wonderful way for you as the GM and perhaps a player to elevate your tokens by making them almost kind of pop out of the token border, giving them a kind of realistic 3D feel. So I'm going to be using Photoshop for this example, because that's the program I'm most familiar with. But like I said before, you can use free online photo editing software like PixelR or Photopedia to achieve this same effect. But this method is super simple to achieve, and in my opinion, it really enhances your character token and makes them feel a lot more alive, despite the method being relatively simple. So for this example, I looked up male human fighter and found this artwork on Imgur, or Im... Imgur... I, I honestly don't know how to pronounce that website's name. <laughs> but anyways, it will work perfectly because it has the nice white background which will make removing the background a lot easier. So be sure to bring your token border in first so that the image will be the correct size. Next, you will take your character artwork and bring it into Photoshop or whatever photo editing software you may be using. Then make sure the artwork is on top of the token border. Next up, make sure you obviously remove the artwork's background, select the bottom portion of the token border, and then layer it on top of the artwork. Add a cool looking background to the token, do a little bit of touching up if necessary, and boom, you now have a super cool looking 3D token. And this method also works if the artwork already has a background. You just have to select the subject and separate it from the background and then layer it on top of the token border, but make sure that the lower portion of the token is still on top. And last but certainly not least is Tokenizer, which is a mod for Foundry VTT, which is why I have it at the end of my list, because you do have to own Foundry in order to obviously have access to this token creation tool. But if you do already have Foundry, then it's definitely worth checking out and learning how to use it. This mod allows you to fully customize your token and it gives you a massive amount of customization options. It can be a bit confusing to get used to at first, but there are tons of guides on the mod's main website that help you through the process of learning what each button does and how to make really cool looking tokens. And since we're on the topic of Foundry VTT mods, I do want to give a little honorable mention to JB2A's soon to be released token animator mod. It looks super cool, and I'm definitely going to be trying it out once it's released, but sadly it's not quite out yet, but as you can tell from this video I'm showing you right now, it looks absolutely fantastic, and I'm really excited to see what this can do and how you can elevate your player's tokens or your enemy's tokens by using some of these features. But with that everybody, thank you so much for watching this YouTube video, it means a lot to me, and if you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like, so that way other players and GMs and the like can find this video and know how they can elevate their token game. But anyways, if I happen to miss a particular method for creating tokens that you want to share with other people who come to this video, feel free to leave that in the comments down below. Or perhaps if you happen to know a resource, an artist, or the like that has really cool tokens that you want to share with everybody, shout them out or give a link in the comments down below as well. But anyways, everybody, thank you so much for watching again. I'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy. Bye-bye.